Hi, Ron Paul, designer of the Paul Workbench, the Total Station. Today we're going to continue looking at optimizing the awesome rolling toolbox by taking a look at my router drawers. So my router drawers has changed a little bit. Before I had them in uh, one of these larger drawers and had everything in one bigger drawer. And so I've been playing around with some of the smaller drawers and have separated the bits from the router accessories. So the bits I've put in this upper drawer and have taken these uh, foam inserts that are um, pre-set up for, they're specifically for router bits for half inch and quarter inch shank. I got these from uh, online, I think Rockler, and uh, they're a specific size. Uh, and I had two of them, so I took uh, one of them full size and put it in and then took the other one and just measured the difference and, and cut it to fit. So I've got a nice tight fit side to side and front to back. And uh, then I have a little extra space in the front where I put some accessories like, uh, you know, I use these uh, template guides pretty heavily. So I have all of those here and the... Uh, you know, the chucks for the varying, you know, half inch, quarter inch, and I have some five sixteenths bits as well. And then some, you know, parts, bearings, and things like that. So everything is pretty visible. I've got my wrenches right here. And uh, so it's pretty easy to see what I got. I've got a lot of router bits. A lot of them are old, need to be sharpened, but uh, uh, some of them I haven't used in a, in a really long time. But, uh, but anyway, I can see what I have and uh, pretty easily pull out uh, what I need and move right over to my little work uh, area there to uh, chuck them in. And then what I've done with the uh, accessories is I've put them in a drawer below. Um, as you know from uh, my other videos, I'm not real a real big fan of toolboxes except for certain uh, specific things because they just take too much room and uh, so I just get out specifically what I need so I have you know various accessories so the the one the one minor problem I have and I'm not going to let it bother me right now is uh, my edge guide even cranked all the way down the knob is just a little bit too tall but not by much so what I found is if I pull the router bit drawer out and lift it and push that in first it goes right in without a problem. So I, I may d deal with that in the future, but uh, for now, um, you know, that'll work out great. So I've, I've tightened up my space. I've freed up a big drawer for other uses. And uh, right now I'm pretty happy with that. I've removed the labels from the drawers as I move them around. So wh what I'm planning on doing is continuing to optimize and when I get things sort of locked in and, and like them, then I'll label them again. For now, I'm just leaving them unlabeled uh, because I may continue in this optimization. I may discover something as I'm moving forward that, that I need to step backwards and refine something else a little bit more. So that's my router drawers. If you like these videos, uh, be sure to like them, subscribe, but most important, share them with others. And if you want a set of workbench plans, click on the link right here in the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.